Hello, my name is Colin West from Tenable Network Security and in the next few minutes or so I shall be uh, talking through how to create a new scan with Nessus version 6. The version that I'm currently using is Nessus version 602 which came out the week beginning the 10th of November 2014. So to create a new scan we click to the new scan button here. Once selecting that, for those of you who would have used Net version 5 in the past would have noticed a big difference here in that what we used to do is um, in, under this tab called policies is where you would actually select a, the type of scan you want to run. Once you've selected that then you would go to scans. What we've do, done it as an advance in version 6 is to bring them all under one area. So by clicking on to scans like we did earlier I'm now presented with all these default templates that I can use and that are downloaded in the Nessus feed. If you had created templates previously and upgraded from version 5 to version 6, you will find them under here under the user created policies as well. So that information is not lost. So in this example, we're going to do a basic network scan. Going into the basic network scan, then we're into the familiar screen of actually creating the scan information. So I'm going to create the type of the scan name, which I'm just going to call sample scan. The description, so I just call this one sample um, scan for Nessus 6. Under the folder, which is this hasn't changed, um, I'm going to put it in the default, which is my scans. The little scanner that I'm using is the is the actual uh, Nessus version 6, the local scanner, and I'm actually going to put in a um, IP address yeah. for us to scan. That our IP address is in. Now, to further configure um, this scan, there's a few uh, other sections we can do. So we can select on the schedule, which hasn't changed from previous releases. Um, at the moment, I've got it on, on demand. But if you wanted it to run it um, daily, then here, for example, you can define it, what, when it starts, the time zone, and how often it repeats. So let's keep this for, for now on on demand. If, for example, you want the uh, scan results to be emailed to someone, then we can go using the email notifications here. But we also have some new tabs here that can be used dependent on the type of policy that we've selected. So it might be of interest here, for example, looking at the discovery tab, where by default it's a port scan of common ports. And you can see here we've defined uh, scan common ports we're going to use the SYN scanner if necessary and using port scanner TCP. But if we want to do all ports, then you can see by just selecting that, you'll see all the ports changing. So let's, for example, just keep and leave that at common ports for this particular uh, um, actual test. We can also change the way that report is processed as well within this scan as well if we wash. So what we can do is we can have a custom one or the default one. Um, and the normal report for um, verbosity, silent dependencies, for example, all of that built into that. But what I like, um, which is one of the new features I like, is we're actually bringing some of the advanced options that normally you find under the settings menu. We brought them actually into the time of setting up the scan. So what we're able to do here is by default, you can see the number of hosts, the number of simultaneous scans, and the network timeout is all set here. But if we wanted to scan on a slow bandwidth, for example, you can see how it's changed. So the, 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 the network read timeout has changed, the number of um, hosts has changed. But let's, for, for this uh, example, keep it to the default. So we've now done all of our um, basic um, and um, discovery in advanced. The only thing we could add to this scan if we wanted to is to do credentials based scanning if we wanted to. So by clicking on credentials, you can see we're presented with the type of credentials we can add. So if this, this particular machine that I wanted to do a credential scan was a Windows machine, I'd click this. And if it was a um, Unix machine, Mac, Linux, etc., I would click this. Adding it into there, you will then see I have the ability to then put in the username the authentication measured whether I just want to use password, for example, privileges and port and client version, etc. like that. In this particular test, 
uh, I'm not going to use um, the credentials. But you can also see the other credentials that can be used dependent on the type of um, policy you've selected. So if, for example, if you wanted to do uh, database related scanning, then you can put the credentials of that database in there. If you want to do um, pa against patch management for the patch audit um, policy, then you could have a selection there where you can select the type of patch management solution you want to integrate with. If you want to have some sort of authentication, plain text authentication, then you can actually use that in, in here. And you're able to actually all add all this, and this is the great thing about this, all at the time of creating the scan, which I love the most about this. So we go base and save that scan information at the moment. You can see immediately I've, I've created all that. We're actually starting to uh, run our scan. It was as simple as that, um, and I've done um, many uh, training um, like this, for example, and showing how quickly it is to create a scan. And if you can see then, um, it's actually running and it will be actually starting to create the scan information as we build it. So I've of this particular machine, you can start, see that it's starting to build some vulnerabilities. And for those of those people who haven't used the product before, you will see as the scan is actually running, you will see those vulnerabilities being added here. And you will see this is the percentage of how far the scan is being run. So at the moment, we're just at the start of the scan and we've already found 33 informational components that can be used for um, our test. Also, which is great as well, um, what we've added is this history. So this particular one, this is the uh, first time that I've run um, this particular scan. But what we're able to do, looking at other scans, if I actually move out of this section, and look at some scans that I've run before. Okay, what I'm able to do, for example, is go into this scan information, and we can see here that these are the number of scans that I've run against this particular um, uh, scan information. And this is again another new uh, new feature. This this what we call this unified screen of being able to see the information, which I think is really great to actually look from the different. Um, so this was the current one that I ran only a few days ago. These ones, obviously, I run the days before. So let's go back to our scan that we've been running. You can see that's starting to build um, slowly. And as you can see at the moment, from a history perspective, there's only just the one. We've got. You can see now we're starting to really build in on the vulnerabilities coming in, um, and and that will build over the next few minutes or so. So thank you very much for your time. Um, hopefully that's useful just to show you how easy and how simple it is um, to create a, a scan within version 6 of Nessus. Goodbye everyone.